Good morning, friends. I think I found the perfect place for our meetup. So I camped overnight here last night here at the Eisenhower State Park. This is the Armadillo Loop. It's electric and water, and it sufficed quite nicely for last night. But um, I'm going to go show you where the group area is and where I hope that we can all meet up. So this is the group camping area here at Eisenhower State Park. My little friend here helped me pick out a spot. He's got a great eye for great camping. But check it out. It's got this awesome pavilion behind me. Um, it's covered and there is lighting. And also it's got a little grill over there that you can use and trash can. So that's kind of nice. The only thing I don't see is a fire ring, which is kind of a bummer. But I'm going to keep scoping that out and see. There's 37 campsites right here in this group area, 37 little slots. And they'll hold, you know, anything from a camper to a fifth wheel to a van. And they all have electric hookups. The dealio on the cost is it's 12 bucks a night per unit, per van or whatever. Plus, um, they also charge a day, daily fee here at the state park. I think it's $5 a piece. If you have a Texas state park pass, they waive that fee. So if you have at least 15 campers here, you can use the pavilion at no extra charge. And um, I really don't think we'd have any trouble filling this place up with all 37 sites. What I really like also about this campground though, is if this isn't your thing, if just kind of camping in a parking lot amongst 37 other people isn't your thing, there's also um, full hookups next door. We call that the paddy wagon loop because that's probably where you'll find Patrick if he's able to make it. They've got full hookup, sewer, water, electric, and everything. Down the road to the left of me is a shelter area. I'll show you that. Um, if you don't even have a tent or anything, you can still come on out. Just bring an air mattress and a sleeping bag and stay in one of their screen shelters. Those are only 30 bucks a night, and it's a really nice loop. So on down from that, I think that there is more primitive camping that's water only, and I think those are only 10 bucks a night. So. Um, a little bit of something for everybody out here. So that's why I think that this place might really work out well for us. Quick peek in the restroom facilities. It's just basic restroom facilities here. They don't have showers in the group campsite area, but they do have showers throughout the park. And they're really nice. It's not a bad, not, not a bad park at all. They keep it really clean. Not sure that I really count 37 of them. So, just FYI, they do have boat rentals and a marina store, and also a little restaurant that serves breakfast and lunch. So, if tent camping, RVing, or screen shelters aren't for you, maybe a boathouse would do. Yep, they even rent boathouses here. If a boathouse is something you're interested in, you might check online, uh, Eisenhower State Park in Texas. It's about 100 miles northeast of Dallas. So yeah, check it out and get more information if that's something you, that you think you might enjoy. So I tried to pick a time when this place wasn't crowded and I went in to talk to the park host about how to reserve that pavilion. This is a hop in place. I only had a couple of minutes to talk to her. I turned around, there was a line foreman, and she was only working the desk. So I got a few questions in. She didn't really seem to know much about it. I guess it doesn't get utilized a lot. In fact, most of the time, she said they'll just unlock it when the rest of the campground is full, then they can put people up there. But um, she said I could call and make arrangements over the phone to actually reserve that campground. So it can be done. She was also confused as about the whole you have to pay extra for the pavilion and she she seemed to think we do and it would be fifty dollars a night if that's the case i'll pick that up that's not a problem but i really don't think that we will have to because uh, online i did read that if 15 or more campers are in the site then um you don't have to pay for it so another thing she pointed out whenever i was down there earlier i did notice that some of the posts were red and some of them weren't and i didn't know why and i thought maybe some were 30 amp and some were 50 amp or something like that. Well, she said the red post means there is no electricity at those sites. So that puts a little bit of a kink in it, but she said she still thinks there's 25 with electric and water and then like 10 or 12 more that are just water. 
but if we're going to do this at the end of October, that might not be a problem at all. Um, we might, we hopefully will not need air conditioning at night in Oct at the end of October. So, so if you think that this is a good idea and you think that this might work, leave me a comment below. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, you know, just let me know and we can discuss that. Like I said, I, I think that this might work. I know there's a few people who want a tent camp. And again, I wanted to get permission to see if we could just put up a few tents because there are grassy areas. But this lady seemed to think that, no, you cannot do that. So, um, but there are tent camping areas and then we can all still gather there at the pavilion, you know, and spend time together. As far as what we'll be doing at this meetup, uh, most of it will just be kind of winging it. The only thing I really kind of want to plan is a potluck meal for Saturday night where everybody can bring something yummy and we can share. And other than that, I know a lot of people like to go hiking, some people like to go fishing, um, others just like to sit under a shade tree. So we can kind of do whatever we want. There's a lot of geocaching in this park. The, the hiking trails are awesome, they really are. So the end of October should be a really good time. I think it won't be too hot, won't be too cold. I think it'll work. So I did also ask her, I said, so I guess there's not a campfire ring down there. And she said, oh yeah, there is a group one. I think I missed something because I sure didn't see that, but we'll explore that more later. In fact, I think I'll take one more drive over there and take another look now that I have a little bit more information on it and see what I can see. Oh, another thing. Online, it said that those sites are 12 bucks a piece, but she just told me they're $15 a piece, so I don't know. Um, we'll see. Maybe they'll give us a group rate. Like I said, I'll find out more when I give them a call on Monday, but I really want to hear from you guys below before I do reserve it and make sure that, you know, at least 15 or 20 of you is a, a go on it. So I think I missed something earlier when I was here. I didn't even check this part out. I think that this leads down to a little amphitheater. It's right here off the, uh, right here off the group area. And see how a couple of these have red posts or red covers? Those are the ones that don't have electricity. Most of them do though. All right, let's see what's down here. That's kind of cool. So yeah, if anybody has a projector, maybe we can watch some YouTube videos on the big screen. <laughs> that would be fun. We've got electric and everything and lighting. Now I still have not seen a campfire ring though. So if they don't have a campfire ring, I do have a big metal, basically campfire ring. It's even on legs, so it's up off the ground. It's usually legal just about everywhere I've ever taken it. My daughter actually made it for me in shop class in high school, so I just love it. It's not huge. We can't have a bonfire in it, but we could definitely have a lovely little campfire. Grow some hot dogs if we felt like it. Because yeah, I sure don't see a campfire ring here in the group area, but we can always make do with what we've got. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate all the positive feedback I've had on this meetup. I really look forward to meeting a lot of you guys. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a great time. So hopefully I'll see you guys in October. Stay lost, my friends. I know I'm not allowed to fly my drone at Eisenhower State Park. They had very clear signage saying so. I was leaving the park and I came across this little boat ramp spillway here and I think it's okay for me to fly here so I'm just gonna um, put it up real quick and show you beautiful Lake Texoma. on you. 
Blind Beauty's be mad if they see blowing. Hey, little bunny. Will you come to our meetup? I promise we won't make you lunch. I promise I won't invite Aaron Nelson. <laughs>